Greetings Warriors, my name's Pretty and I want to take a moment and talk about something. I'm sure a lot of you either uh, saw the stream or the aftermath of my uh, legendary Zora stream. Long story short, after saving months and months and trying to not spend, um, I did about 300 orbs worth of summoning and I got only one copy. Of Azura, and that was the spark. I did not pull Azura. Essentially, after that stream, I I was not okay. As um, if you saw the stream, you guys probably figured that out. Um, sometimes you win and fight, sometimes you don't, and that was definitely not one that uh, I won. So I wanted to take a moment and talk about the aftermath of that stream and how it's affected me because it's really changed how I view Faye and how I view making my content for Faye and it's really been eye-opening which has been nice but it's been eye-opening. Um, before I get into deep I want to give a soft warning that there are going to be some mentions of depression, some mentions of addiction and so on and so forth so if you're not in the mindset for that please know that I'm okay. I'm still going to make content for Faye. I still love Faye, but I just have some things I need to talk about in regards to Faye and, uh, you know, yeah, let's just, let's go. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you love Faye. You adore the characters. You love the gameplay. Summoning is fun to you. Maybe you're not like me. Maybe you just are chasing the meta and not chasing your favorite units. No matter what, if you're free, pure, like if you free to play purely, you spend a little bit, you are a super giga whale. I hope that this video, my experience, my thoughts, my honesty, can get you to take a step back and look how you play Faye and how you enjoy Faye or any other gotcha game. Just take a moment to reflect. That's what I'm hoping that this video does for you. Obviously, this is going to be mainly centered around Faye because the Faye is what sprouted this. <laughs> um, so getting orbs in Faye, you have two routes you can take. You can do the free-to-play route or you can do the money route. The free-to-play route, you know, takes time, commitment, and a very, very strong will to save. The new shiny units always come out and they test your will. The money route is more so easy in comparison. You uh, spend money and you get orbs. And then you can use those orbs for either saving or just spending on whatever units you want at the time. But it takes away funds that could be used for other things. Like, you know, treating yourself to a nice dinner, buying some books, buying other games. And each route, the free to play and the money route, have positives and negatives, obviously. Like, nothing in life is going to be purely positive and purely negative. But either route you take, either route you take is going to be, either route you take provides somewhat of the same rush. Getting the unit you want. Be it your favorite unit, be it your just you want them for fodder for somebody, being it chasing the meta, no matter what, it's getting a unit you want. I want you guys to take a moment. Just take a brief moment and think about your worst summoning session in Faye. Your absolute worst. I'm guessing for a majority of people, you are able to pinpoint one specific summoning time that you knew as your worst where it's either you got exactly the opposite of what you wanted, it, you got super unlucky and you didn't get any five stars, or some variant of it, but there is some emotional attachment to your worst summoning session. Now, take a moment and think about your best, your singular best. It's hard to pick a singular best, isn't it? It's easy to think of a couple of ones that are top tier, because I can easily think of a couple of them that are top tier. Either like I got what I wanted super fast, I eat plus 10 to unit and an insane amount of orbs. Something, it's, it's hard to pick which one was the best because they're all so good, right? 
Why does the negative, at least to me, stand out more in my mind? Even before this last Azura sum summoning session, which is officially now my first summoning session in any gacha game, I still kept summoning, despite knowing that rough pain that I could feel. I knew that the high that I would get from summoning outweighed that pain, at least for a time. So now I'm gonna talk about a little bit of a heavier thing. Um, I've mentioned it once or twice before, and I want to be honest about like my mental health with you guys, but I got severely depressed in October of last year. And that depression has lingered for a while. And now I'm on medication, I am getting help, I'm doing significantly better. But it was really hard for me. My usual coping mechanisms weren't working. My usual supplements that I took weren't working. And I did not feel alive. And during that time, summoning in Fae, or in really any other God game, made me feel alive. It made me feel close to being a normal human again. And I, I enjoyed it. I, I craved it. I wanted nothing more than to feel some sliver of emotion. Either be it joy from getting what I wanted, pain from not getting what I wanted, or any sort of emotion in between, it brought me feeling when nothing else could. And I consider it both a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing is because it, it kept me going during my dark times. It kept me able to function. But the bad side is it kind of planted this seed inside of me that even now when I am good, I'm good, it still feels that compulsion of, I need to summon in Faye. I need to do this, 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 this. To the point where it's, I don't want to say obsessive, but like where I feel like I have to summon on every single banner, even though if, realistically, I know I don't need to. And I, so the summoning session kind of made me realize those thoughts in my head, realizing that drive to either plus 10 a unit to get the newest shiny thing and that drive that compulsion that addiction was inside of me and without this stream i probably would have never realized that i would have probably just kept going the same path that i was going down i set like i have a budget set for myself on google play and every month since being depressed, I've ignored it. Even now, like when I'm good and like I've been saving and like I still ignore it and that's not okay. It's be setting a boundary for yourself is extremely important in gacha games and in life in general, honestly. And since I was chasing that thrill, that emotion, that drive, I didn't care what cost it gave me. I just wanted that joy. And that's understandable. Like, in this crazy, crazy world we live in, finding joy is probably the most important thing any of us can do. Finding joy for ourselves, being joy for other people. Joy is what keeps us moving forward. It keeps us sane, essentially, and it's good to chase that. It is, but it's good to chase it with a healthy mindset. And I, I don't think I've been having that healthy mindset recently at all. And I'm sure other people are like me that have been chasing that happiness and doing whatever it takes. So, with all of that heavier stuff out of the way, I am going to change how I play Faye. How I get my enjoyment from Faye. Because, let's be honest.
honest, like, how much time do you play in Faye? Like, how much time do you actually, like, sit and play through the game and build units and, like, enjoy the game? How much of that time is spent grinding for orbs to summon? For me, it was much more on the side of grinding for orbs to summon, instead of actually, like, enjoying the gameplay mechanics, like, fully taking my time to enjoy all of the game modes that come out, or actually, like, playing Aether Raids to challenge myself, playing Arena to challenge myself, instead of just getting that orb, getting those orbs, getting that unit. So, <laughs> I'm going to change how I play our gacha games, obviously, as I said before, <laughs> but... So how I'm going to change it is obviously I'm going to not buy any orb packs. Orb packs themselves are a scam. <laughs> Summoning currency like that is a scam. <laughs> because like, you're not guaranteed to get what you want, obviously. Gacha games are gambling, and I understand that gacha games are gambling. But it feels so disgusting to put money in and not get what you want. Instead, I will be focusing my monetary spending, my free spending, on battle passes type things, like Fae Pass, or in Genshin, it's like the Battle Pass, or Adventure Pass, or whatever it's called. Because those, sure, yes, they do give summoning currency. Like in Fae, you get five orbs every two weeks, or something from Fae Pass, whatever. But they improve the quality of the game. So, for example, Genshin. Genshin. You get experience things that you can use to level up your characters. You get items. You get these little papers that you use to upgrade skills. You can get weapons if you actually purchase the pass. And, like, you get things from the game that improve your quality of enjoyment in the game. Not just summoning. Sure, summoning is still really, really fun. And of course, I'm still going to summon it in a gacha game. It's a gacha game, you know. But I am telling myself, allowing myself to understand that I don't need the latest unit. I don't need all of my favorites at plus 10. What matters to me most is that I'm actually enjoying the thing, the units that I have in the game that if a new favorite of mine comes out, yeah, I will try to get them at least once. At least once. Because I have I have so many trait fruits that are just sitting, doing nothing, because I am focused on trying to at least get people to plus one because of the, the, the stigma of trying to erase the flaw. And it's just creating such a toxic, toxic mindset in me that I am losing why I'm playing these games. I'm playing them for the game. I'm not playing them to summon. If I just want to summon, I'll pull up a summoning simulator and get that thrill that way. But I'm not taking the time to enjoy the actual game itself. That's why I haven't posted any gacha game reviews lately because I haven't, I've been such stuck in the mindset of summoning is how you have fun in a gacha when I should actually be looking at the actual game. The game is what's important. The game. And I, I lost that. I, I lost that during um, these past couple of months. And it's sad. It's really sad because I, I remember times where I would be playing Faye and I would just be having the time of my life. Really challenging myself, trying to build the good, the best teams that I possibly could instead of just summoning. It's hard, obviously. Like, I, I know that it's going to be a journey for me to accept this new path that I've set for myself. I... I love gotcha games. I've come to realize. And it's not because of the summoning. I love gotcha games because a lot of them are fun. A lot of them are... I don't want to say simple, but they are easy to play. They are fun to grind, fun to put in that effort to see the reward come out of it. The journey is fun. The journey of playing a gacha game is fun. The summoning. Yes, the summoning is fun. But it's dangerous. It is extremely dangerous and addictive. Because the game is not summoning. 
the game is actually like playing the maps, playing, fighting enemies, engaging in the game. Summoning is not the game. And I, I lost that. And I, I know it's going to be hard, as I said earlier. Like, I know I'm just going off into tangent. I have notes, but n n I'd rather speak from the heart and speak from my honest opinion. Um, but it's going to be hard for me. And I, I understand that the journey is going to take a while for me to fully get out of this weird addiction to summoning and pulling that I got. And I want you guys to know that it's okay. It's okay, I'm gonna struggle, but I'm going to have the most fun that I possibly can in these games. Sure. You know, summoning is still gonna be a thing. I will still probably do summoning streams because summoning streams are fun. <laughs> but I want to focus more on the game itself instead of the summoning. Do things that improve the quality of the game to me with the battle passes and so on and so forth. Not spending money on actual stuff. And I'm gonna try to keep myself accountable. <laughs> um, I don't know how. Um, if you have uh, opinions on how to keep myself accountable, I, I don't know, I would love to hear it because I want to keep myself accountable. And I want to show to you guys that it's okay. It's okay to struggle like this. It's okay to realize you have a problem and fix it. I want to show you the honest truth behind playing a gacha game. The honest truth of creating content for gacha games. I want to show it all because that's what life is. Um, but yeah, main message is have fun with the game, not just the summoning. Uh, I know I rambled a lot in this and got to some pretty rough places, but um, yeah, I want to, as I said, be honest with you guys. The tears that I had during that summoning session were honest. My joy whenever I got a unit was honest. And those feelings I had of being addicted to the summoning were honest. I will change. I will finally enjoy games for what they're worth instead of just the summoning. And I hope that this video, like, makes you guys at least take a moment and pause and realize if you're having more fun with the pulling and the summoning or actually the game. Um, but yeah, how, how do you guys <laughs> feel about gotcha games and how, you know, how they're played and how do you play gotcha games? You know, let me know. Let me know your thoughts uh, down below and uh, yeah, I, I just want you guys to take a moment and uh, make sure you're playing for fun and not because you're addicted. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, my I'm still going to make content for Faye. I love Faye. Everything about Faye is great, except for the summoning. The summoning is awful. Or packs are scam. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm in a good place. I'm in a very good place. I am awfully thankful for that awful summoning session. So, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Keep fighting your battles, and I will see you next time. Toodaloo!